Hello and welcome to the San Siro here in Milan. Home to both AC Milan and Internazionale and the venue for the 2016 Champions League final. It has been a long journey to one of the greatest events in football, the UEFA Champions League final, now just moments away. So the players and officials stand tall for the anthem. So, just who will seize their moment? As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Alexandro, Pjanic, Douglas Costa, Bernardeschi. Now the pass. Played it out wide, but the less said about that pass, the better. Now it's Tipala. Looks to slip it. He's gone for it. Goal! We have lift off at the final. And it is the captain who delivers! And the start that dreams are made of, and the fact that it came from the captain too, just gives it that extra little bit of substance. And now the buzz in this stadium suggests we really might be in for something special here. Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. Juventus give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Marquinhos boots it to safety. Up to meet it! No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Mbappe, Meunier, looks like a good ball through. Over to the left, he's made sure that that won't get through. Now it's Cavani, Cavani, he's onside. Alexandro did well to emerge with the ball. 
That's a contest to keep an eye on. Neymar! Yes, it's in! Well, no goalkeeper would keep that out. It really was a bullet. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that out. Paris Saint-Germain grabbed the equaliser, and we're all square. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Short, he's gone for it! Goal, Juventus! And they get themselves in front! Dybala with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Peter, I can tell you, that was nothing short of a cold-blooded execution. Juventus get themselves into the lead. Bernadeschi, he's got away. Oh, that is lovely footwork. And it's hoisted clear. Pulls loose, who's getting there? Bernadeschi. Now, what's he got in mind? Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Cavani played out to the right. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Drexler plays it out to the wing. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Out again for a throw in. Now it's Cavani. Mbappe, it's a loose ball. Meunier with the ball through, drilled in low. Douglas Costa. Tries a through ball. Draxler. Marquinhos. Berati plays it forward, and it's Mernier. Draxler, battle, hits one! That is wayward. Bernat, well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Berati went... Oh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. over the bar. Cristiano Ronaldo cannot really be faulted for having a go, he's usually more capable. Out wide to the right. Mbappe! Mbappe! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. The timing of the pass and run was exquisite. Meunier, Mbappe, Meunier plays it through. It's a brilliant interception. A real chance to break. And it's Dybala. Cuts it out. Meunier, Cavani. Meunier tries to get it forward quickly. Threads one through. Meunier has it in a wide position, so what next? Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. So a really good half of football, three goals and just one separating them.
Half time in the final, Jim. How do you read it? Well, it's obvious who's likely to be more content going in at half time, but I sincerely hope that there's a, a fitting response from the opposition to really engage us on the big occasion. Juventus head into the half time break with a narrow lead, two goals to one. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. And it's Douglas Costa. Douglas Costa passes it through. Keeper goes long. Di Maria. Mbappe. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Oh, good interception. Di Maria tries lifting it over. Oh, they could break here. Dybala. Into the channel. Cavani. Cavani with it. Shot at goal! And that really should have hit the net. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Kimpembe. Marquinhos. Marco Verratti. And it's Neymar. Gets wrestled off the ball. The referee's awarded a free kick. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Douglas Costa. Christian. He's had a go! He's scored! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. There's the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Juventus take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Well, that goal should be a big game-changer. It's certainly been a big mood-changer. And it's Neymar. Good challenge, he just stood firm. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Bernat. Kimpembe with the ball through. Cooks through there. Neymar. Swept in. Mbappe can't quite comprehend how he managed to do that. How red is his face now? Well, I think that might well put him off watching tonight's highlights. Berati plays it long. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Looks like a good ball through. Ronaldo looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Yeah, now that he scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. Cavani just brushed off the ball there. And it's Dybala. Chupamoto. Tries a through ball. Neymar looking to get on the end of this. Neymar shakes the shoots. It just took too long getting forward. Well, the whole idea of a good breakaway is to leave the opposition struggling to get back, and they were just too slow. It's come loose. Aimed long and direct. Chupa Morting. Now the pass. Marquinhos goes looking. Pjanic. 
dashing forward at pace. And it's Di Maria. Looks to slip it through. Well played, he saw that coming. That's been won straight back. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Oh, no question, that's a foul. What final checks on the touchline? A change about to occur. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard, and I think the manager is probably just spotted now a little tiredness. Looking to shoot! Oh, should have put that away. Oh, it's so very disappointing, but they can't dwell on it. They've got to go again. Simple as. Douglas Costic with the ball through. Bernadeschi. Well, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. That's a throw. Well, here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Cavani. Breaks on here. Oh, sweet feet. Forward it goes. Chupamotti. Now it's Cavani. He's left his man. Cavani. Chance. Chills one. And the shot. Goal! Paris Saint-Germain. With so little time left. Grandstand finish. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Paris Saint-Germain give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Nicely measured pass. And that is that. Simply, the big day was their day. A day for them and their fans. A truly proud line in their history. So, on to centre stage come the central characters. The individuals who, as a team, blended into champions. And this is their moment.